Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best method so that you guys can farm out the most crystallization catalysts. Now in this game, you're going to need quite a few of these catalysts and I've crafted about 12 or 15 of them so far in as little as the first week. Now I want to show you guys a few tips to try to get a bunch of these done. Now I made a video about this a few days after the game came out and they have actually updated the process and made these a bit easier to get. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can farm them out extremely quickly now due to this update and also just due to some tips and things that I found out throughout playing the game. Now the first thing you're going to want to do obviously is to go ahead and get crystallization catalyst blueprints. These drop all over the place from bosses and things like that. Every time you open up an amorphous material you're essentially going to have a chance to get one of these and really the only thing you can do is just simply play the game, go through bosses and eventually you're going to get one to drop. Now the first couple they might take a while to drop but you're going to notice you start to get a stockpile of them pretty quickly i've already gotten over 20 of them in just my first week now next up you will need the murky engine residue and in order to get these they're going to drop anywhere in the sterile lands now what this means is that you can simply just go to the sterile lands and repeat the same mission over and over again you're going to get a ton of these as you can see i've already gotten over 100 this is going to be the best mission here is the anticipate ambush point but like i said you can do it on any of the missions so if you want to farm other weapons or mods in the meantime while going for these materials you can do that but this is going to be the best area and i've gotten over 100 of those in just simply about an hour of farming once you get a stockpile of them together you're really not going to need to farm them anymore and that's the best part about this is that you're going to get so many that once you have two three catalysts built you're not even going to need to do this anymore now the next item you will need to get is this bio gel and this is actually one that you're going to need to get more often you're not going to really get a stockpile of these that often and every time you go to get one of these catalysts, as you can see, I don't even have any. And I every time I get want to get a catalyst, I have to go out of my way and get some more. Now, this actually only takes about two minutes and you can get probably the entire stack done. And I'm going to show you guys the best way to farm these out. So anytime you want to make a run to grab some of these, you literally just come to the Echo Swamp, switch over to Sharon, and you just have to run this mission here. And there's actually a five minute wait every time you do the mission. But I'm going to show you guys how you can actually skip that five minute wait and you can get these materials in about 30 seconds to maybe two minutes. Just depends how fast you are. So if you come over here, all you'll have to do is just simply put on Sharon. If you don't have Sharon, you can still do this. But with Sharon, it's, you're going to get some extra rewards. Come over here and go invis and do the mission on stealth. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to make it easier, a bit faster. You're also going to get some bonus drops. But even if you do it without stealth, you'll still get the bio gel material. But that's just a tip to get even extra stuff if you want to do it. So as you can see, we've already gotten an 8 from that. As soon as you finish that, you just fast travel over to this area. What this is going to do is it's going to give you the same materials, but you shouldn't have to wait the 5 minutes in order to reset it. So just fast travel over here. Keep on sharing if you have her. And then right next to this spawn point, there's actually another one you can do. And you can get anywhere between about like 8 and 15 of these bio gels. So by the time you do these two missions, you'll already have the 20 plus that you need. Now, if you don't get the 20 plus that you need, just simply fast travel back to these other side again and repeat this process until you are done. So if you wanted to get a stockpile up of these, you very, very easily could, but it's so quick to get them that usually I just go and get them as I need them because it takes maybe two minutes to do this run and you'll have this completely finished as you can see. Now, the next item you're going to need to get is going to be these energy residue. In order to get these, all you have to do is go to the desert and repeat any mission Eventually, you will have a stockpile, as you can see. I've got well over 100, so I don't usually have to farm these anymore. So if you need any, just head over to the desert, repeat any mission, and you'll end up getting them as a drop. Just take a look at what other mission rewards there are. If there's a weapon or maybe a mod you have to farm out, you can do that at the same time, and you'll be able to get those rewards. Now, the next item you will need to farm are going to be these advanced neural circuits. As you can see, it's another item I haven't necessarily stockpiled, and the reason for that is because any time that I need to craft one of these, I can get this done in a few minutes. I'll show you the best mission that you need to do in order to get a bunch of these. And then from there, you can get a stockpile if you want, but it's really up to you and how many you're going to end up crafting. Now, in order to farm these, just simply come over to White Knight Gulch, start up this mission here called the Triumphant Arch. Now, the only thing with this is that you actually do want to run it on normal. It may seem a bit weird. Now, when you run it on hard, you can still get these to drop. In fact, sometimes you'll even get stacks of them to drop where you'll get 10 or 15 of them. But the thing is, is that when you run on hard, it's not guaranteed that you will get these drops. What I have found is that if you run it on normal, not only can you get through the mission quicker, but you're going to get guarantee the drop at the end of the mission every single time. So you may only get between two 
and three each time you complete the mission but because it's guaranteed every time it works out that you get way more and the mission gets done much faster so in my opinion just run it on normal the mission takes between one minute one minute 30 seconds to complete and each time you do the mission you're going to get about three of these residue so in about 10 minutes you can have 30 of them done it's really not that bad now if you have friends with you you can get this done even faster but honestly as solo like this isn't even really all that bad i found it to be actually kind of fun once you learn where all the enemies spawn you can pretty much predict where they're going to be save up your abilities and get this mission done extremely extremely fast now, if you want to get it done as fast as you can, you can just simply take out the elite enemy at the very end of the mission and skip a lot of the enemies that you have to take down. However, I found after farming this a bunch of times that it's better to take down every single enemy you see. And the reason why is because if you take down every single enemy, you're actually going to get more resources. Now, you may not get the exact ones that you're looking for, but when you take down every single enemy, there's a chance at getting a precision activator or all these other drops just for simply taking down the enemy. It's going to give you special loot for every person you take down. So it's better just to take every single person down, then take down the elite last. If you do this because of how many times you're gonna end up repeating this mission, you'll end up with a lot of extra loot at the end. And it makes this a lot better in my opinion. It only takes an extra few seconds to take down all the extra enemies and you end up with an, a bunch of extra loot, gold, things like that that you're going to need anyways. Now, if you follow all the steps in this video, you should be able to get a bunch of crystallization catalysts done very, very quickly. Like I said, guys, I've gotten, I think about 12 built and I've got about another 15 ready to build, but they do take about eight to 12. I can't remember the exact time. I think they take like eight hours to build every time you want to craft one. And so that's really the only reason why I'm still sitting on so many blueprints. So I wanted to make this video and show you exactly how I was able to get these catalysts so quickly. You will need so many of these in the game. Every time you get one, you're going to become stronger and stronger. Every time you find a weapon you really enjoy using, you're going to want to slot one of these in. And you're pretty much just going to need a lot of these over time. Now, this is the fastest way I've found so far. As updates come out and as things change throughout the game, maybe with future updates, there'll be even faster ways. But as of right now, this is definitely the fastest way I've found. And it really only takes maybe like 10, 15 minutes out of your day and you can get one of these catalysts done. So I've been crafting two or three a day using this method and I hope this helps you guys out to get that done as well. Other than that though, that's pretty much it and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Left is the gate barrier. Good, let's try breaking through now. The number of enemies has significantly reduced. I think we should be able to break through the gate now. Where do they all go? For now, let's just keep moving. We can take care of any remaining enemies as we go. This must be all of them. Do you think they've retreated? And this is the rear